Tracktown, USA, Eugene, Oregon, and no surprises yet again, it's the men of the University of Oregon winning for the 11th straight time. The women of the University of Oregon winning their ninth straight championship. Tremendous performance by the Ducks, and it was a heck of a heck of a meet, no doubt about that. And Kyrie King, the transfer coming over to the University of Oregon from Western Kentucky, pulled off the double in the sprints. He gets things going in the 100-meter dash, 10.09 as he blazes through the tape. And then in the 200, 20.27 leads him to the double on the day in both the 100 and the 200. He's the first Oregon Duck to do that in the conference meet since 1959. And then there was some real excitement in the 400-meter hurdles. Maybe the most spectacular finish of the meet, Paul, a lunge by Bry Benjamin on the left just catches two-time champion C.J. Allen. And then in the distance events, if you come to Oregon, they've had superstar after superstar and 15-time individual NCAA champion made it look easy at 10,000 meters, although there was nothing easy because of the weather. Edward Cheserek. Absolutely. Three Pac-12 titles in his career, 17 total NCAA titles. Give me that! Give me in the final! And the final it was, and there were some great moments in the field all during the competition. In the high jump, in the shot put, in the hammer throw, in the pole vault. Take your pick around the field events. It was interesting, and the drama down to the final throw and the final jump in the discus and the triple jump and the shot put as well. And on the women's side, it started out the women of Oregon sprinting their way to another team victory. It was a one, two, three sweep in the women's 100 meters paced by Deja Stevens. She runs 11.05. And then in the 200 meters for the Ducks after they do work in the 100, Deja Stevens on the curve. The Olympic finals participant. She runs a world leading time, 22.09, as the Ducks continue to pile up more points in the sprints. Maggie Ewan made history, winning three throwing events, the first time it's ever been done in conference meet history. Those three, the shot put, the discus, and the hammer throw, and Ewan had a little bump in the road in the hammer throw. She fouled her first two attempts, but she made it through, and she broke the meet record in the hammer throw, her best event. She's the American collegiate record holder, could make the U.S. Champ World Championship team for London in 2017. And then in the final event of the meet, USC, which is, was expected to challenge Oregon from the team title, saved their best for last in the 4 by 400 meters. Kendall Ellis, your 400 meter champion, anchors USC to a new meet record in the women's 4x4 as they close things out for the Trojans here at Hayward Field. We've told you that the University of Oregon has won yet again another team title. Here is the final score, Oregon followed by the USC Trojans. Colorado, a solid competition, and then followed by Washington and the UCLA Bruins through 21 events. And on the men's side of the competition, Oregon wins it once again, followed by USC, UCLA, and Colorado. And now these teams will go off to Austin, Texas in a couple of weeks' time for the regionals, and then on to the NCAAs, or if you're Oregon, back home for the NCAAs. AA's June 7th through 10th. It was rainy, it was windy, but on Mother's Day it was absolutely beautiful and the performances lived up to their billing. Thanks for joining us here in Tracktown, USA. Oregon wins it. Once again, they are the champions of track and field in the Pac-12 Conference.